Hello, I am Professor Jagdish Shete, working as Assistant Professor in Walchand College of Engineering, Sangli, and we will going to see the topic Amplitude Modulation using a LabVIEW software. In this video, we will see what is Amplitude Modulations, what is the purpose of what Amplitude Modulations, how we can implement these Amplitude Modulations mathematically, that part we will going to see in upcoming slides and we will implement this amplitude modulation equations into a LabVIEW software also and we will observe the simulations of this amplitude modulation in a LabVIEW okay first of all let us observe that what is amplitude modulations and or what is modulation the modulation is the process in which some characteristics of high frequency carrier are changed according to the instantaneous message signal. Like in amplitude modulation, the amplitude of the carrier will get varied according to the amplitude of the message signal. Similarly, in frequency modulation, frequency of the carrier signal gets varied according to the message signals. The purpose of the modulation is to transfer, transmit a signal for a longer distance. Using modulation scheme, we can transmit multiple signals using a same channel. We can also increase the stability and noise rejection ratio of our channel using these modulations. This amplitude modulation typically used in the broadcasting of the audio and the video signals as well as this also used in the radio transmissions such as cell phones. Now let us observe that what is this modulation pro process exactly is. First of all at the transmitter side our masses signal the amplitude of the carrier signal which is of high frequency gets varied according to the message signal then this high frequency carrier is transmitted through a channel in this animation you can observe that this is a message signal and after modulation the mass amplitude of the message signal Amplitude of the carrier signal is varied according to the message signal which is observed over here. At the demodulator side, we can reconstruct this message signal using amplitude demodulation technique. Let us observe that what, which, uh, what is message signal, what frequency contains is available in a message signal, what should be the frequency content in carrier signal. Typically in amplitude modulation we will going to use a sinusoidal or cosine wave as a carrier which is at high frequency. So AC cos 2 pi FCT is a carrier signal where FC is far far is a larger or a huge frequency. Modulating message signal is empty, which is also a sine wave or a cosine wave, which is nothing but cos 2 pi fmt or cos omega mt. As I told you, in amplitude modulation, amplitude of the carrier is varied according to the message signal. So, this modulated signal SAMT is equal to AC plus MT into cos 2 pi fct in general we can write this modulated signal is equal to 1 plus k mt into ct where mt is the message signal and ct is a carrier signal where k is equal to the modulation index modulated signal smt amt is equal to 1 plus k a cos omega mt into cos omega ct if you expand this mathematical equation we will get that s amt is equal to cos omega ct plus k times cos omega mt into cos omega ct 
if you apply some trigonometric rule it will get that SAMT is equal to cos omega CT plus K by 2 cos omega C minus omega M whole into T plus K by 2 plus K by 2 cos omega C omega C plus omega M whole into T. So this is combination of upper sideband frequencies and the lower and the lower sideband frequencies where omega C minus omega N is the lower sideband frequencies omega C plus omega M is the upper sideband frequencies and omega C is nothing but a carrier signal. If you consider this graph where amplitude of this lower sideband frequency or magnitude of this lower sideband frequency is k by 2. The magnitude at frequency is equal to fc is equal to 1 and magnitude at upper sideband frequency is k by 2. If you want to calculate a power at each frequency, so we just have to squaring the magnitude. So the power at lower sideband frequency is k square by 4 as same power is available at upper sideband frequency also and the power of the carrier is equal to 1. So total power is equal to 1 plus k square by 2. Now we will implement these amplitude modulation equations in a lab view software and we will observe the modulated signal and we will observe that how amplitude of the carrier is varied according to the masses signal then we will change the carrier to the square wave and we will observe the pattern of the output waveform and we will also observe the upper sideband frequencies and the lower sideband frequencies and their magnitude in lab view softwares.